Let us pray. Our Father, we thank you for our Bible study once again tonight. Baba wa adupe lawo yile kasi ifun eko bibele wa ti asale yi. We thank you because of the teaching we receive every week as we come. Adupe lawo yifun awon idan ile ko ti a mo ri gba ni gbogbo ose ti a ba tin wa. We thank you in particular for the emphasis we are now seeing in the epistle to the Hebrews. Ni pataki julo andupe lawo yifun ohun ti a tenu mo ninu iwe beru. We know that you have exalted Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior. And as you show us his supremacy, superiority, and sufficiency, I pray, O oh Lord, our own hearts will exalt him like you exalt him too in Jesus' name. Be as Adura wa ni pe okan wa yo gbega gege bi eyan Olorun ti gbega ni oruko Jesu We pray that at all times the spirit of God will emphasize to us that Jesus is everything to us An gba adura pe ni gbogbo igba ki emi Olorun ko ma temo wa lokan pe Jesu lo n gbogbo fun wa And at all times we'll find him to be sufficient Ati pe ni gba gbogbo ni yo ma to fun wa Thank you, Lord, for the answer. In Jesus' name, we pray. Today we come in our study to Hebrews chapter 8. And uh, this chapter is very important to the whole epistle. We have studied already from chapters 1 to 7. And the apostle, the writer, is about to make a summary of everything we have learned already. And he wants to move on from that point of what we have known to something still beyond what we need to know. Lati be, o fere koja lati no unti ati ma. Si waju si o unti akoti ma. In Hebrews chapter 8 and verse 1. Ebe rori kejo lati ese ikeni. Now, of the things which we have spoken, this is the psalm. Nge, pataki, o unti ati nso liye yi. He said, of all the things we have been learning, of all the things we have been reading, of all the things that have been spoken, it tells us in this chapter, here is a summary, here is a sum total. We have such an high priest who is set on the right hand of the throne of the majesty in the heavens. Verse 6, but now has he obtained a more excellent ministry, by how much also he is the mediator of a better covenant, which was established upon Better promises. Verse 7. In that he says, A new covenant he has made the first old. Now that which decays and waxes old is ready to vanish away. The epistle in this chapter is still talking about the Lord Jesus Christ referred to as our high priest. And the central thought, the central teaching of this epistle is the absolute sufficiency and the superiority of the Lord Jesus Christ. If we do not see the sufficiency and the superiority 
prosperity of the Lord Jesus, we have not learnt anything then in the epistle. Is greater than the angels. Is greater than the Old Testament prophets. Is greater than all the patriarchs and the fathers in the Jewish nation. Is greater than faithful Moses, the old lawgiver to the children of Israel. Is greater than the first high priest Aaron of Israel. Is greater than all their sacrifices and everything they did in the Old Testament to make a reconciliation with God. The epistle then is calling us to have confidence and hope in Christ. For all our spiritual needs is sufficient. For all our temporal needs is sufficient. In fact, for all our eternal needs, Christ is a sufficient one. That's why we say all we need is in Jesus. He satisfies and joy is supplied. It says life will be worthless without him. All things in Jesus I find. But please understand the epistle is telling us that there is no combination between Christ and Aaron. It's Christ alone. Aaron has faded away. Christ is now the only one. There is no combination between the animal sacrifices of the Old Testament and Christ's sacrifice. All those sacrifices are abolished. The sacrifice of Christ is final and full and perfect, acceptable before the Lord. And there is no combination between the old covenant system and the new covenant system. The old covenant is vanished away, but the new covenant is the one that is standing. This is the thing that Paul the Apostle wanted to emphasize so much so that the Jewish believers of that time who were trying to hold on to Jesus on the one hand and the Jewish religion Judaism on the other hand will abandon Judaism and hold on to the Lord alone. And this is what the Spirit of the Lord is still emphasizing to worshippers today who are trying to hold on to Jesus on the one hand and trying to hold on to some things in the old covenant on the other hand. Abandon that which has vanished away the whole covenant and come on and hold on to the Lord Jesus Christ, the mediator of the new covenant. All that we need is in Jesus. There are three points that stand out very clearly in the passage you are studying today. Number one, seated on the right hand of majesty. Number two, superiority of the new covenant. Number three, the sufficiency of the new covenant. Let's look at number one. Seated 
on the right hand of majesty. Look at it from verse 1. Now, of the things that we have spoken, this is the psalm. We have such an high priest who is set on the right hand of the throne of the majesty in the heavens. A minister of the sanctuary and of the true tabernacle which the Lord pitched and not man. For every high priest is ordained to offer gifts and sacrifices. Wherefore, it is of necessity that this man should have somewhat also to offer. For if you want earth, you should not be a priest, seeing that there are priests that offer gifts according to the law. A gentile reading these verses I have read may not know how striking these verses are. But primarily the Apostle Paul was writing to Jewish people, Hebrew people, that's why it says, Epistle to the Hebrews, to the Jews. He was writing to the people that knew the details of the old covenant. The people that knew the functions and the roles and the activities of the priests and the high priests. They knew many details of the functions of the high priests. They knew that the high priests were to offer gifts and sacrifices. They knew that their own tabernacle was divided into three parts. There was the outer court where they would kill the animal and make their sacrifice. Then there was the holy place where they had the table of showbread over there. And the, the priests could be in the outer court. They could come to the holy place as well. But then there was a third part, the holy of holies. That place was demarcated and separated by the heavy curtain that shielded the Holy of Holies away from the holy place. The average Israelite, the normal Israelite could never go to the Holy of Holies. The ordinary priest could not go to the Holy of Holies. Only the high priest could get to the Holy of Holies and make the sacrifice for them on the day of atonement. And that high priest could not go there presumptuously or carelessly. He went there with fear. He went there with trembling just to perform the function in there to perform in the Holy of Holies. And, and uh, his garment, uh, in the rim of his garment, the edge of his garment, you have little, little bells. So that as he was walking and functioning in the Holy of Holies, it will be sounding. And the people outside will be hearing. Then they will know he has not made a mistake because if he made an error, a mistake, committed a fault there, he will be stricken dead. And then they will not hear the sound of the bell of any movement anymore. They will know that the high priest has done something wrong and he has been stricken dead in the Holy of Holies. Ni gere to ba lo si asise 
angeli yo lu pa sibe lese kese ni awon mo nseli yo mo pe o ti si ase nibe nitori be ko godo si ase bi o ti wo bi mimo ju lo yi and so the high priest always went there with fear and trembling only once in a year nitori na olori alufa o ma lo sibe pelu iberu ati owo le kan lodun then there was something definite o kan wa han gbangba there was no seat in that place for the priest or the high priest ever to sit down ko si joko kankan ni bi mi majulo e fun olori alufa lai lai lati joko ni be in all their history of the children of israel the high priest never never sat down in that place ninu itenran awon omo israel olori alufa kan now you understand what Paul the Apostle is writing. He is telling us they never sat down, but our great high priest, he has finished the sacrifice. Now he is seated on the right hand of the throne of majesty in the heavens. The reason they never sat down is because their work was never finished. You cannot rest, you cannot sit until everything has been finished. They sacrificed thousands of animals, but the work was never, never finished. But Jesus offered one single sacrifice. It was a final thing. He accomplished everything. And now he is seated, he is set on the right hand of the throne of the majesty in the heavens. He himself said so when he was on the cross. You know the last words he spoke on the cross. He said, it is finished. In one glorious act, he did what all the priests of the old covenant could not do for thousands of years. And so you will see the emphasis here. Look at it, chapter 8, verse 1 again. Now, of the things which were spoken, this is the sum. We have such an high priest. The, the wording of that sentence, it didn't say we just have an high priest. We have such an high priest who is set, that is seated, on the right hand of the throne of the majesty in the heavens. In the Hebrews chapter 1 verse 3. Who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person, upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down on the right hand of the majesty on her. Ati a wora on ti karare. Ti o si mfi o rwa agbara re mu on go go duro. Le yi ti o ti se yi wè nou ese. O joko ni o wò to o lan la li oke. Now will you see again, every time it says he sat down, he tells us he sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 12. Hebrews 10 verse 12. But this man, after he had offered one sacrifice for sins forever, sat down on the right hand of God. Mark 
chapter 16. Mark, Mark chapter 16 verse 19. So then, after the Lord had spoken unto them, he was received up into heaven and sat, listen to this, on the right hand of God. You see, the word of God is very clear. That Jesus Christ went into the heavens. As our great high priest, he had performed the sacrifice here. And then he went up into the heavens. And he sat down. Not only just sitting down, he sat down on the right hand side of the majesty on high, on the right hand side of God. You see, when we read the Bible and we just read through, he sat down, he sat down, he sat down because we are Gentiles, because we have not known what happened in the Jewish uh, area. Uh, we just read, he sat down. We just say praise the Lord and Lord Jesus Christ went to sit down. O Jamani Oko Ibati Aba Kabi Beliti Aba Salaba Kwa Dekwe O Joko O Joko Se Lin Tori Kwe Aja Kefiri Aka Inyo Loro Logo Kwe Oluwa Wati Joko On Tom Fani Kwe Ao Ma Itan Ra Wa Ebe Rubi Wati Man Kan Kan Kon Si Look at it again in Acts chapter 2 verse 33. In Wawo Isi Awa Aposteli Ori Keji Ese Eketa Le Logman Acts chapter 2 verse 33. Isi Aposteli Ori Keji Ese Eketa Le Logman Therefore be by the right hand of God exalted. You see that again? By the right hand of God exalted. And having received of the Father the promise of the Holy Ghost, he has shed forth this which ye now see and hear. Now, what does it mean when it says he sat down by the right hand side of the majesty of on high? You might have heard this word before when we say the Sanhedrin. The Sanhedrin among the Jewish people were a kind of religious council. And they had such great authority and power. In fact, they had the authority to either condemn somebody to death if they feel that he has committed a crime or to say that he should not die and justify him and set him free. They will bring the case of the criminal to the Sanhedrin. And then they look at the, at the details of the case. While they want to judge, then the con condemned fellow will be there. And then the person to record the details of the case, that is, of the hearing and the, the verdict that they are passing on the criminal. And uh, this person is referred to as a secretary of the Sanhedrin, that is of that council. It was their method, their policy. If this criminal had offended and he had done something wrong and he was worthy of death and there is no pardon, nothing at all, that secretary that will read out the verdict, he will see it on the left hand side of the Sanhedrin. Immediately that accused fellow sees the secretary who is reading out the verdict and he sees him on the left hand side of the Sanhedrin. He knows that there is no escape. 
death penalty is upon him. But if they are pardoning him, if they are saying you can go, if they say there is no judgment, the secretary who is to announce the verdict, he will be sitting on the right hand side. And immediately the accused fellow sees that secretary who is going to tell the final thing, the decision of the Sanhedrin, Sitting on the right hand side, he knows well, these people have pardoned me. I am going to go out free. There is no death penalty upon me. I am free. Let's say, Cassette, you are down, you to battery, I call with you, okay, day that you're a to battle, Lord Joku, you are what to a way, be Massa Idri, or carry a ballet, okay, at it, damn, Larry, could see a drama, Ben, you could see Kuma. Now you understand, we have such an high priest who is set on the right hand of the throne of majesty in the heavens. You see, we were guilty. We have done something wrong. The soul that sinneth it shall die. Though hand be joined in hand, the sinner shall not go upon it. The wages of sin is dead. But the gift of God is eternal life through the Lord Jesus Christ. And that's why Jesus came into this world. And he said, I've come into the world not to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved. And the Son of Man is not come to destroy, but to save lives. And he made a sacrifice for our sins. And he prayed for us, forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. And with the sacrifice, he went before the Father. Is the Father going to forgive the criminals? Is the judge of all the earth going to set the captives free? Is he going to allow our high priest to sit on the ledge? Then we are doomed, or to sit on the right, then we are happy forever. Say you wa jeki olori alfa wa kojo koni awo si ka wanu egbi ayiraye. He appeared before the father after the sacrifice. And the father pointed to the right hand side. Praise the Lord, the sacrifice is accepted. Our sins are forgiven. We shall not die. The father pointed to the high priest. He said, I have accepted your sacrifice. I have pardoned those people. I have forgiven all their, all their sins as a sign of that. Sit on the right hand of the majesty in the heavens. And so now Jesus Christ is seated. And you know every time a sinner prays, prayer may appear weak. It may appear feeble. But God listens to that prayer and he looks at the high priest on the right hand side and he says it's not because of that sinner, it's because of the one that has made the sacrifice and Jesus says, yes, I died for him. And God says, I forgive him. And our high priest is seated on the right hand of the throne of the majesty in the heaven. The right hand symbolizes honor. It symbolizes exaltation. It symbolizes his power. And uh, you know in the olden days, 
the kings were so exalted. And if anybody was granted any chance to stand, not to sit, to stand on the right hand of the king, that was great, great honor. And those were special, special people indeed who will be allowed not only to stand on the right hand of the king, of the monarch, but now to sit down on the right hand of the king. It's also talking about the exaltation of Jesus Christ. Because nobody can sit in that place. That place had been empty before Jesus finished the sacrifice and went up on high. No angel could sit there at the right hand side of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. But he has been given a name a of every name that at the mention of the name of Jesus every knee shall bow that name was reserved for him that name was reserved for him the name above all names and that authority and power was reserved for him he said all power in earth and in heaven is given unto me and the father aside exalted him and then immediately he appeared in heaven that place was waiting for him and the father said welcome sit here on my right hand answer until I make all your enemies the food stool and he is our savior he is our lord he is the husband of the church. And now he's seated in that special place. And see the promise now that he gives to you. In Revelation chapter 3 verse 21. To him that overcometh, I will grant to sit with me in my throne. Even as I have also overcome, and I am set down uh, with my father in his throne. Something great is waiting for you and for me. If we will endure and overcome unto the end. It says we will sit with him on his throne. I pray that nothing will take that privilege away from you. And so you see Jesus Christ greater than the high priest in the Old Testament and now he is standing there for us. He is making intercession for us. That leads us to point number two. The superiority now of the new covenant. The old covenant was mediated by the high priest. When we talk of a covenant, we are talking of a contract. That covenant has two parties or two people. It has condition. It has promises and benefits. And normally, it's the greater one that sets the condition and the benefits of the covenant. And in the old covenant, in the Old Testament, there was a contract. The Lord had a promise, he had a covenant, a testament, a will that he made with Abraham will be descendants of Abraham as well. 
ti o ti se pelu majam pelu abraham ati awon eru omo really at that time it was for the children of israel iyan nigba yen o wa fun awon omo israel but then there were strangers that were allowed into the fellowship into the country into the nation of israel sugbon nigba yen awon alejo kan wa ti an fa aye gba lati wonu orilede israel that's why you will read in the old testament one law shall be for the for the Israelite and for the stranger idini ya ti wa fi kanu ma je mo lai lai pe ofin na kan ni o wa fun ibile ati awon alejo that's why you will find in the old testament it will say if the stranger that is in the land will come and seek my face and also worship me then i will give him these blessings that means that the old covenant was made for the children of Israel but the strangers the foreigners they are the patch in the benefit idini ya ti wa fi kan ninu ma je mu lai lai pe bi alejo kan ti o fun rara re na to ba wa josin ohun olorun ohun o se bayi fun o tun mo si pe ninu ma je mu lai lai bi olorun ti le ni ma je mu yi fun awon israeli awon alejo ti awon na ba wonu won wa anfani wa fun won as you come to the latter part of the old testament the language changes a little if you read in leviticus and numbers deuteronomy it talks of stranger 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 as you come into isaiah he drops the word stranger and introduces the word gentile the light shall rise for the gentiles ya to je pe ti o ba wa nko ja lo si opin ma je mu titun gbo lohun alejo yen yi pa no ma je mu lai lai gbo lohun yen yi pada die tori pe to ba ka leviticus tabi numeri wa ri pe a ma so nipa alejo alejo sugbon nigba ti o ba wa de nu isaiah a wa so fun e wi pe awon keferi ni imale mo le si mo si won and so the promises in the old covenant it had uh, the gentiles the strangers they had a part in it ni tori na awon ma je mo tabi ade on to wa ninu ma je mo lai lai awon keferi won ni anfani die ninu re because uh, the strangers and the gentiles they were similar they were kind of the same people ni tori pe awon alejo ati awon keferi okan na ni won if you look at ephesians chapter 2 wo efesu orikeji you will understand what we are talking about about the strangers o nti awon so nipa re yo yi o nipa awon alejo look at verse 11 we say kokan la it says wherefore remember that ye been in time past gentiles in the flesh who are called the uncircumcision by that which is called circumcision in the flesh made by hands he calls these people the uncircumcised and gentiles ni tori na eran ti pe ni gba ti jo ri eyin ti e ti je keferi nipa ti ara ti awon ti an pe ni akola ti a fi owo se le ara n pe ni alaikola o pe won ni keferi o to pe won ni alaikola at that time old testament at that time ye were without christ being aliens from the common wealth of israel strangers from the covenant of promise having no hope without god in the world ese ikeji la pe le akoko na eyin wa lai ni christi yen nu ma je mu lai lai e je ajeji si anfani awon oloto israeli ati alejo si awon ma je mu ileri ni lai ni reti ati lai ni olorun le aye that was for the old covenant elei wa fun ma je mu lai lai now the new covenant came sugba ma je mu titun ti wa de and there is a superiority of the new covenant to be you lord ti ma je mu titun wa ti wole wa number one it's no more for the israelites alone now akoko ni pe ki wa se fun awon ma israeli ni ko mo so love the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting nitori olorun fi ara ye to bege ti o fi omo bibi re kan so so fun ni ki eni keni ti o ba gba gbo mo ba se gbe sugba ki o le ni iye ai ni pekun he love the whole world o fe gbogbo aye and the word of god also says in first john chapter 2 verse 2 it says uh, he is a propitiation for our sins not for ours only but for the sins of the world ba kan na wa so nu ju anu kini ori keji ese ikeji wi pe o ni etitu fun ese wa o wa ni ki se fun awa nikan sugbon fun gbogbo aye not the jews only any more now but for the sins of the whole world ki wa se fun awon ju nikan mo bayi o sugbon fun ese gbogbo aye and so you realize now the new covenant is not just for israel it is now for every one of us behold the lamb of god who takes away the sin of 
the world. O wa yi o bang baba yi wipe ma jye mo ti to ki wa se fwa wang ju ni kama. O wa fwa wa ti a wang wo wang jye yano. Look at it now from verse 5 Hebrews chapter 8. Wa wo ebe ro ri ke jye se e karo ba yi. Who serve unto the example and shadow of heavenly things as Moses was admonished of God when he was about to make the the tabernacle for see says he that thou make all things according to the pattern should be in the mouth and when it in joseph on a query at you did you want or no be at the common say that your dollar or what need that you fair power go need to you with a key secure song bobo He's making a comparison between the old covenant and the new covenant. He's calling the old covenant shadow. Then he's calling the new covenant by comparison. He's calling it the substance. Now can you think of those two words? Shadow and substance. Or reality and reflection. Now the shadow is only reflecting. The shadow is only telling you there is something there. And because the sun is shining on the reality and on the substance, you have the shadow that is cast down. The shadow has no substance in itself. It cannot have an independent existence. It cannot stand alone. It is the substance that can really stand and it is the substance that creates the shadow. Which means the shadow is the evidence of the real thing. And the old covenant was just a shadow. It is the new covenant that is the reality and the substance. And as the substance is superior to the shadow, so the new covenant is superior to the old covenant. Look at verse 6. But now I see Jesus Christ obtained a more excellent ministry. He has obtained a more excellent ministry. Uh, then it says, by how much also he is the mediator of a better covenant which was established upon better promises when you want to say that something is better and greater than another one these are the words he use he uses more excellent and then he uses better he uses the two times in that verse and it said jesus christ our our lord our savior our great high priest he has obtained a more excellent ministry and he says he's a mediator of a better covenant i told you that when you have a covenant you have two parties and in the in the uh, covenant there are conditions to be fulfilled so you can get the benefits of the covenant and it's telling us that the promises in the new covenant are greater than the promises of the old covenant when there is a covenant between a and b then, then there is a third person who is a who is a mediator who will say that if B fails to carry out 
all the conditions they should fulfill so that A will give him everything that the uh, covenant has stipulated. Here the mediator, the third person, will be the person to mediate, will be the person to reconcile them both together, will be the person to appeal to A to overlook the failures and the faults of B so that he will still be able to have some benefits. <laughs> Ko ba le je pe ni gbati bi to ba koja aye re ti ko mu awon ileri ti o wa ade on to wa ninu ma je mu na se lati le gba anfani to wa ninu ma je mu na ki alari na ti se eniketa ko le to eni ha lo lati si pepe ko gboju fo gbogbo asise ti bi ti da lati le mu anfani ma je mu na se fun so you have a covenant with god ani ma je mu pelu olorun it is a new covenant ma je mu titun ni and jesus is a mediator jesus ni alari na if there is a fault on your side to ba lo ku na ni ti e if there is an error on your side to ba lo sa se ni ha ti re if there is a mistake on your side ko yo si on kan se ni ha ti re fact if there is backsliding on your side ki pada se God, the judge of all the earth. See, see this man, see this woman. See what he has done. He has not fulfilled the conditions of the covenant. If it were the old covenant, have you not read it in the Bible reading? In the old covenant, once that person he picks up stick on the Sabbath day, or he does this one, or he does that one, and he asks, What shall we do for him finish him ni, get get rid of him judge him kill him destroy him let him enter into judgment ni no ma je mo lai lai ni gere ti eni ke ni ba tin sa igi ni ojo isin mi ti a ba mu pere lese kese la o se idajo re pe on to kan ni pe egbe mi e e pa e se idajo re e je o de ni igbagbe but now in the new covenant so gba ni no ma je mo ti tun that was back leading eni ti pada seyin and uh, the father is saying see this man baba won pe wo okunrin and jesus is saying i'll talk to him and then he talks to you and then with shame and conviction you come back ah, if it were the old covenant what would you have done but our high priest sitting on the right hand of the majesty on high in heaven he says father I died for him there is still hope for him and the father smiles and says you are forgiven don't do that again then he gives you more grace to be able to stand now praise the lord Suba olori alufa wa to joko ni owo oto lanla lorun a wa be baba pe ko dariji o nitori ti Jesu baba wa gboju fu ese re da ni to ba je nu ma je mo lai lai ni ko san fa ni yesu gbon nisisi ya ti ni afani e fi ogo fun olorun and then you have better promises a wa ni awon ileri ti o dara ti lo there is a promise of your sins being taken away a ileri pe ki a dari es ka mu ese re lo there is a promise of sanctification ileri so di mi ma wa there is a promise of the holy ghost baptism ileri baptism mi ma wa there is a promise of healing ileri wo san wa eh you see our many many new testament people when they pray for healing they will be praying as if they are in the old covenant o je ma won ara wa kan ti an luwa ninu ma je mu titun nisisin ti ba n gbadura nipa iwo san wa ma gbadura be pe ninu ma je mu lai lai ni won the fast for 7 days and 14 days or even 40 days before they can be healed they struggle for the better promises as if they were in the old covenant ni gba na wa gba we ojo meje ojo merinla tabi ogoji ojo wa la kaka bi eni pe ninu ma je mu lai lai ni won wa won mo pe ti won ninu ma je mu titun if they have a little problem they don't know the better promises of the new covenant they will go and lock up themselves in the room they will say when well, i'm serious and i'm dedicated and i pray and pray and cry and roll on the ground many many days god will know that i have punished myself he will answer my prayer they are still back in the old covenant nigba ti wa la die ba judge jo ba yoju si won nigba yen won o ni mo pe a ni awon ileri ti o dara ju lo ninu ma je mu titun wa wa tile kun mo ri wa gba we olojo gbo oro wa wa so wa fara won jiya wa wa mo ro n danu ara won pe ti awon ba fi ya ji ara won bayi ninu olorun a wa dun bi eni pe won si wa ninu ma je mu lai lai they do not make use of the ministry of the lord jesus christ sitting there for them on the right hand of the majesty in the heaven won ko se amun lo ise ran se jesus christ eni to je pe o joko fun won ni owo oto lanla ni orun the new covenant is better 
enjoy the new covenant. It was established upon better promises. Look at verse 7. For if that first covenant had been faultless, then should not a place have been found have been sought for the second. The fault there is talking about the limitation of the old covenant. But the new covenant has no limitation like that. I pray God will open your eyes and see. You will know that you are the child of a king. You will know that Jesus is representing you in heaven. You will know that Jesus is making intercession for you. You will know that you are under the new covenant. You will know that the promises are just available. They are stretch out your hand and you will catch it in Jesus' name. You will know that every bad dream, every negative thing, every cause that the devil or his agents may be talking about, it has no place at all. You are a beneficiary of the new covenant and the better promises will work in your life. You will know that you are the beneficiary of the new covenant. That means we don't need any other thing. All that we need, Jesus Christ has done in giving us the new covenant. For all our sins to be forgiven, the new covenant is sufficient. For the internal corruption, the internal evil, the iniquity in the heart to be taken away, cleansed away, purged away, made totally new, the new covenant is sufficient. For us to live like Enoch lived, a victorious life, a life without blemish, a life of happiness, a life of joy, a life to live without backsliding, one day in the year, any week all through our life, to live consistently with the Lord, the new covenant has made a provision and the new covenant not is sufficient. For you to be a favorite of heaven, it just walk straight into the presence of God. And you talk to God like a father. And you look at Jesus Christ on his right hand side. And it is settled in your hand that everything you tell the Father will be done because here is Jesus on the right hand of God and the angels are standing at attention to minister to you because you are the favorite of heaven. All that provision has been made in the new covenant. For you to walk in boldness, in confidence, and just walk anywhere because you have a label on you. You are the king's kid. You are the king's daughter. You are the king's son. And everywhere you go, you tell the witches, you tell the wizards, you know how special I am. I'm under the new covenant. If you make a mistake and touch me, you are problem because the Father is watching over me. The Holy Ghost is within me. And look at Jesus Christ watching me, sitting on the right hand of God. You live a life that is without anxiety, a life without care, a life without a worry, a life without any fear, a life, a life without any cause. It is provided in the new covenant. <laughs> Ni tori pe oti kale, ni nwa kan re wi pe 
Olorun ti ku akole na sori re pe omo kunrin yi omo oba ni omo obirin yi omo oba ni lati wa ma fi igboya lo ni waju oso tabi age wi pe e fowo kan mi o fowo kin mo lati le so fun o gba gba wi pe nitori pe Olorun gbe Olorun seso lori mi emi ma nbe ninu mi Jesu tun ni to tun joko lowo to Olorun lati ma si pe fun mi nitori na gbogbo ipese yi pata pata lati ma ni aniyan ati ai bale okan ninu aye re gbogbo eleni ma je mu ti to ti pese for you to realize that Moses all the prayer Moses prayed he prayed it under the old covenant you have a better privilege you have better promises when you pray you stand at a higher ground than Moses because you are praying on the platform of the new covenant lati ni oye wi pe gbogbo adura ti Moses gba ninu ma je mo lai lai lo ti gba gbogbo adura na sugbon nisisin yi iwo to ti wa wa ninu ma je mo tutun adura ki adura ti o ba gba o ti wa joko tabi o duro ni ipo ola to ga ninu ma je mo titun all the prayers that Elijah prayed all those people of the old testament it was only on the basis of the old covenant when we pray today we are on the platform on the new covenant in fact the moment you mention the name of Jesus you are transported immediately above the old covenant and when you open your mouth and talk to majesty on high that is is more than an angel praying ni gbogbo adura eleeti elija tabi gbogbo awon to gbadura nu ma je mu lai lai ori bebe ma je mu lai lai ni won ti gba adura na sugbon awa nisisin yi ati wa ninu ma je mu titun ni gere ti a ba ti gba adura papa ju lo ti a ba ti le lo fenu kan oruko jesu lese kese la o gbe wa lo si bebe ma je mu titun nitori pe adura wa yo lagbara bi igba ti angel ba nsoro look at the new covenant won ma je mu titun and always understand that new covenant is sufficient je ki eleko wa yi o pe ma je mu titun yi o to fun ogogo it is sufficient to transport you from earth unto heaven o to lati si oni di lataye lo sorun it is sufficient to keep you faithful till you see the lord face to face o to lati pa omo lo dodo lati ditidi gba ti wa yi olorun lo ko to eradicate the problem that started in the garden of eden o to lati pa gbogbo wa lati o je jade ninu ogba eden ni ru ku ru aye it is sufficient to make you live a victorious life and overcoming life a conquering life a joyful happy life o ti to lati je ki ogbe igbe aye asegun igbe aye ala ila ba awon kankan ti okan re yo bale look at it from verse 8 wo lati ese ikejo for finding fault with them he said behold the days come we say uh, uh, the lord has says the lord when i will make a new covenant with the house of israel and with the house of judah ni ese kejo nitori ori abuku lara won o wi pe kiesi ojo mbo ni oluwa wi ti emi o ba ile israeli ati ile juda da ma je mu titun that is telling us that god almighty himself is the author and the founder of the new covenant ele lo fi ye wa gbangba ni gba na pe olorun olodumare oni oluda sile ti o se da sile ma je mu titun verse 9 not according to the covenant which i made with their fathers in the days which i took them by the hand uh, to lead them out of the land of egypt because they continued not in my covenant and i regarded them not says the lord ni ese ikesan ki se gege bi ma je mu ti mo ba awon baba awon da li ojo na ti mo fa awon lowo lati mu won jade kuro ni ile egypti nitori ti won ko duro ninu ma je mu mi emi ko si ka won si ni oluwa wi that is telling us that the new covenant is totally different not according to the covenant i made with them with their fathers in the day when i took them from the land of egypt ele, it is different ele lo fi ye wa gbangba pe ma je mu titun o yado o yato gedegede nigba ti o so pe ki se gege bi ma je mu ti mo ba awon baba awon da ni ojo ti mo fa awon lowo jade kuro ni egypt yen ni pe o yato patapata the new covenant does not have the weaknesses and the frailty and the limitations of the old covenant ma je mu titun yi ko ni aika re tabi alebu kan tabi ilagbara tabi ikun rere ti ma je mu lai lai in verse 10 for this the covenant that i will make with the house of israel after those days says the lord i will put my law in their mind and write them in their hearts and i will be to them a god and they shall be to me a people ni ese ke wa nitori eyin ni ma je mu ti emi o ba ile israel da leyin ojo won ni ni oluwa wi emi o fi ofin mi si inu won 
emi o si ko won si okan won emi o si ma je olorun fun won won o si ma je eniyan fun mi the laws of the old covenant were written upon the stone o fin ma je mo lai lai akosara okuta but now he says i'm not going to write it upon the stone i'm going to have such a personal relationship with them i'm going to write my law my word in their heart in their mind sugbon ni bayi lo wa pinu pe n ko ni ko si ara okuta sugbon iba se po ti mo ti mo yo wa laarin emi pelu won emi yo ko ofin emi si o kan aya won i will be a god unto them they shall be my people emi o je olorun fun won won si ma je niyan fun mi iba se eleven they shall not teach every man his neighbor and every man his brother say know the lord for all shall know me from the least to the greatest ni ese iko kan la olukuluku ki yo si ma ko ara ilu re ati olukuluku ara kunrin re wi pe mo oluwa nitori pe gbogbo won ni yo mo mi lati kekere di agba that is when you come into the new covenant iyan ni pe ti o ba wonu majemu titun it will not be that the fear of the old covenant and uh, the punishment of the old covenant and all the people driving you pulling you saying you must know the lord you must serve the lord for in you there will be that love in your heart to love him with all your heart all your soul all your you will just love the lord you'll just want the lord you'll just want to be serving him there will be that kind of natural affection affinity with the lord that you will like to love him and serve him iyan ni pe iru eru ti no ma je mo lai lai ti an bi ti paku ti kuku mu o pe fe oluwa si oluwa ti a ma ti ologbogbon ki o to si oluwa sugbon o wa so pe ninu ma je mu titun ife lati okan wa ti wa bi fe oluwa pelu gbogbo okan re pelu gbogbo emi re iru ife be ti se pe an bi ti pa ti kuku mu ni lati se yo mo ti okan re jade si oluwa and i will be merciful to the unrighteousness emi o si sa no fun eso dodo and their sins and iniquities i will remember no more e se won ati e se dede won le emi ki yo si ran ti mo that means when you are forgiven you are sinner coming to the lord immediately you are forgiven remember you are getting that forgiveness under that under the new covenant immediately you are forgiven forever forever god will never mention them against you it's no more on your record he will look at you as if you never sinned since you were born iya ni pe gaga bi elese ti o nto olorun wa fun idariji ni gere ti o ba ti nbo o je ko yi o pe ohun wa la be ma je mu titun ni gere ti o ba ti wa je wo ese re fun oluwa lai lai o di bere olorun ko to ni ran ti ese yi nipa ti re mo know that you will come the following sunday again and say oh god remember the sins i committed 30 years ago 20 years ago god says what are you talking about it's no more record i don't know about it it will never be remembered anymore talk about another thing because those sins are already forgiven and forgotten ki wa se pe ni ojo isin mi to ba tun tele wa tun wa to olorun wa pelu eru jeje pe olorun mo se binu ese ti mo da logbon odun ogun odun seyin olorun wa so pe ki lo tun so yi gbogbo awon won yen mo ti gbagbe nipa re ni gere to ti jewo re to ti ko sile gbogbo re ti lo sokun gbagbe yi your slate is clean ati for tabili re your record is clean akosile re ti mo be in fellowship with the lord now wa ninu ida po pelu olorun bayi immediately you are born again move on and get sanctified and let the word of god be written on the table of your heart ni gere ti o ba ti deni igbala tesi waju lati ni so di mimo ki a le ko in various parts of the of the bible the lord talks about the new covenant ni awon ibi miran ni no no bibeli ni olorun tin so nipa ma je mu titun actually it was from the time of the old testament the lord had been looking forward and telling the people that a new thing is coming a new thing is coming i'm going to give you a new covenant lati no ma je mu lai lai ni olorun tin toka si ojo iwaju pe o n tun tun bo o n won tun bo ma fun yin ni ma je mu titun jeremiah chapter 31 verse 31 Behold, the days come, says the Lord, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Wo o jumbo ni oluwawi ti emi o ba ile Israeli ati ile Judah da ma je mu titun. You see, mention said that I will make a new covenant. Ori pe o menu ba ni pe emi yo da ma je mu titun. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers and the days that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, which my covenant they break although I was an husband unto them says the Lord. Ki se bi ma je mu na ti emi baba ba won da ni ojo na ti emi fa won lowo lati mu won jade lati ile egypti awon ti won da ti won da majemu mi 
But this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says the Lord. I will put my law in their inward parts and write them, write it in their hearts. I will be their God and they shall be my people. And they shall teach no more every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for they shall all know me from the least of them unto the greatest of them. And uh, this is the Lord, for I will forgive their iniquity and will remember their sin no more. Nitori pe gbogbo won ni yo mo mi lati eni kekere won die eni nla won ni oluwa wi nitori emi o dare ese dede won ji emi ki yo si ran ti ese won mo The Lord was telling them that he will do a new thing. Oluwa so fun won pe ohun o se won o to He will make a new covenant. Ohun o se ma je mo ti to Ezekiel chapter 36 verse 25. Ezekiel ori kerin de ni o then will I sprinkle clean water upon you, and ye shall be clean from all your filthiness and from all your idols. Will I cleanse you? A new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you, and I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, and I will give you a heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes, and ye shall keep my judgments and do them. He was making the people to look forward to the time when the new covenant will be ratified by the Lord. Luke chapter 1 from verse 72. To perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. The whole the oath which is swear unto our father Abraham that he will grant unto us that we being delivered out of the hands of our enemies might serve him without fear. That's part of the covenant to deliver us from all our enemies to serve him without fear to walk in confidence and faith and trust to have no iota of fear in your heart that's part of the new covenant and then in verse 75 in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. Is it possible to be holy? It is in the new covenant. It is not by struggling, it is coming to the Lord and standing upon those better promises in the new covenant. And it's available for you and available for me. We're missing. Lord. Many of us are still living under the old covenant. We are timid, we are fearful. We are unbelieving, we are faithless. We are acting as if we were orphans, as if we have no heavenly father. We are living in anxiety and in worry. We are living in fear and lack of confidence. We're living at the edge of the Christian life as if we will fall, we will stand, we may fall, we may stand. We're thinking and doubting whether we will make heaven or not. We are thinking that we may not be able to live the victorious life. Arise and shake yourself. 
yourself from the doors. Shake yourself away from all the fears of the old covenant. Understand that Jesus Christ, the high priest, is seated by the right hand of God. He has come, come to deliver you from the hands of all your enemies and to serve the Lord without fear in holiness and righteousness before the Lord Almighty all the days of your life. Now you can be free from sin. Now you can overcome temptation. Now you can live a victorious life. Now you can live a holy life. Now you can live in faith and confidence. Now you can walk like a child of the king. All that I need is in Jesus. He satisfies and joy he supplies. Life will be worthless without him. All things in Jesus I find. All that I need is in Jesus. Salvation is available in him. Victory is available in him. Sanctification is available in him. New life is available in him. The stony heart is taken away. The heart of flesh is given unto all. The power of the Holy Ghost is available in him. New kind of faith is available in him. Confidence and boldness is available in him. All that I need is in Jesus. Deliverance from the enemy is available in him. Healing is available in him. Supply of all my needs is available in him. Provision from heaven is available from him. A ticket to heaven is available in him. All that I need is in Jesus. There is power in him. There is authority in him. There is confidence in him. There is boldness in him. All that I need is in Jesus. My spiritual need, my temporal need, my physical need, my domestic need, my eternal need, all that I need is in Jesus. He satisfies. He satisfies. Joy, he supplies. Life will be worthless without him. Life will be worthless without him. All things in Jesus I find. Come to Jesus today. He is the mediator of the new covenant. And he has better promises awaiting us. He will wipe away your tears. He will give you confidence and boldness. He will give you joy in service. He will give you the love to be walking with God. You will enjoy the Christian life. You will enjoy the Christian life. You will enjoy the Christian life. You will be floating as if you are walking in the air. There will be no body. There will be no heavy load. There will be no yoke upon your life. You will be walking as free as a child of God. You will overcome temptation. You will have courage in the Lord. In the day, in the night, you will have courage. You will know you are a child of God. All that I need is in Jesus. He satisfies and joy he supplies. Life will be worthless without him. All things in Jesus I find. Come and find salvation in Christ. Come and find sanctification in Christ. Come and find Holy Ghost power in Christ. Come and find satisfaction in Christ. Come and find deliverance in Christ. Come and find every need of your life in Christ. Put your hand in the hand of Christ. And walk in this narrow way and walk straight into heaven. And you will not backslide again. You will not be falling and rising again. All that I need is in Jesus. Joy is and he satisfies. Your life will be worthless without him. All things in Jesus you will find. If you will come to the Lord. Come on the basis of the new covenant. The new covenant. 
the new covenant. The new covenant. And enjoy the promises of the new covenant. There is no fear again. There is victory in the new covenant. 